everyone, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at motion sequence recording on the Minilog. Specifically, I'll show you a method to get a six minute long motion sequence recording. This is particularly useful for ambient compositions. You can build massive pads with really long envelopes. You can have multiple lanes of automation running while you play over the top. You can even turn your Minilog into an effects box and run another instrument through it. We'll start with an initial patch. We can record motion into the sequencer by pressing play, then record, and then moving the appropriate controls. In this case, I'm doing a filter sweep. But for our purpose, we want something longer, so we need to slow down the sequencer as much as we can. If you press edit and highlight sequence edit on the screen, press button 2 on the sequencer a couple of times, it will bring you to step resolution. You can rotate it all the way up to a whole note per step and then press the first sequencer button, you can actually lower the BPM down as low as 10 BPM. This gives you 6 seconds per step to record motion. At 10 BPM we can get 6 minutes and 24 seconds out of a single sequence. Of course, in most situations this is probably quite extreme, but even a much shorter sequence can give us the opportunity to create some really interesting sounds. For example, the onboard envelope generator will typically open and close within a few seconds. If we use our slow motion sequence on the filter sweep that we recorded earlier, we're effectively making a cut-off envelope much longer than anything the Minilog can provide on its own. As the Minilog is capable of recording up to four lanes of automation, we can add more depth to our sequence. In this case, I've shifted VCO2 to a higher octave and then gradually brought the volume in to create an overtone as the pad develops. I've also gradually introduced cross-mod depth to allow one wave to slightly detune the other. And I've also added a bit of feedback on the delay. And all these effects roll back off as the sequencer draws to a close. You can delete any notes you've recorded into the sequence by pressing record and then rest 16 times. Now the sequence is pure motion, waiting for you to play over the top of it. You can apply your motion sequence to another instrument by plugging it into the audio in jack of your Minilog. Turn down both VCOs on your mixer and play your sequencer whilst playing the external instrument. record and press any key on the keyboard, hold it down and press rest 16 times. This will record a tied note all the way through your sequence. As ever, thanks for watching. I hope this video was of some use to you. Um, if you have any questions or comments then um, please leave them down below and I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye!